Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Infab M1 grille on this 2007 to 2013 Toyota Tundra. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and take off this stock grill. All that's going to require is one 10 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and get started. Once we got those out of the way, we're going to come back to the latch. Just going to swing that out of the way here. Okay, now to get this grill out, we've already got all the uh, uh, nuts holding it in place. So we're going to go ahead and pry this away from the metal a little bit. The grill lifts off, we're going to just set it down. Now that we've got the factory grill off, we're going to go ahead and pull off this bracket. So we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to set this bracket to the side because we'll be using that later. Next we're going to want to remove the center material here. So we're going to use a saw to cut all the way around these areas here. Now in the kit you're going to have two different types of brackets, a 90 degree and a 75 degree. There will be six of the 75 degree brackets and they are going to mount on these studs at the bottom side of the grill. 90 degree bra brackets are going to be mounted on all the rest of the studs. Once you mount them on the studs you just take the supplied serrated flange nuts. And we're just going to loosely put them on there so that we can still move the brackets around. Now we've got each one of these brackets to where they're pulled all the way in towards the center of the grill. We're going to go ahead and take our factory grill and slide it over top of the brackets. We're 
I want to get it aligned to where we can slide it up into place. What we're going to do is we're going to go through with a silver sharpie uh, and we're going to make a hole or make a mark kind of towards the center of the slot in each one of these so we can know where to drill a little pilot hole for, uh, for the screw that holds the bracket in place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart and we're gonna drill all these holes with a 5 30 seconds drill bit. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take off this frame bar so we can have room to fit these screws up into the holes. Now we're taking all of our screws, we're putting it through the plastic shroud and out through the bracket. We're going to take one of the serrated flange nuts. We're going to loosely thread it onto that screw at this point. That way we can go back and adjust it later on the other side. Next we're going to hold the grill in place, rotate it up, and as we tighten down the screws from the inside, we're going to monitor how it fits flush up against the outside to make sure it stays straight. Right. Now we're going to use a 7 millimeter wrench to tighten up all the nuts to hold the studs on the grill to the brackets. Now we're going to go ahead and set our frame bar back in place. Line up with the screws. We're just going to get them started at first. So we get everything lined up before we tighten everything down. And tighten them down. Now we're going to go ahead and pop the grill back into place. Now we're going to go ahead and put our factory hardware back in the same way that it came out. Next we're going to reattach our latch to the hood use the factory hardware. All right, now with the supplied hardware, we're going to insert that into our new bracket and into the factory bracket. Well, we've gone ahead and adjusted where the latch meets so the hood can open and close properly. And that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out. <music>